Hello. Oh, hi, Joseph. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm happy. Oh, okay. What did you do today, Joseph? Um, I I went to school and and go to the academy. Oh, you went to school and to the academy. Okay. Yeah. That's all you did today. All studying. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What did you study in the uh in the academy today? Um, I studied math. You studied math. No math. How was it? Easy? Very yeah. easy. Um, no. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit easy. <laughs> Okay, I see. That's great. Now, um, I hope you're ready to start, Joseph. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we have our book, the right, right, uh, paragraph. Uh, right, right. Yes, right, right. Because it's Thursday today. I have. Okay. Are you ready? Um. No. Um, page what? Yeah. Oh, page number eighty-two. Uh, eighty-two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ready? So we are yeah. going to start with it has been since. So say yeah. how much time has passed after you did something. For example, uh, we have a a while. I last saw you, so in a sentence, you can say, it has been a while since I last saw you. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Let's start with, or you start with number one, please. You have a long time I last wrote to you. Yes, it has been a long time I last wrote to you. Again, one more time. It has been a long time I have... I last wrote to you. Where is since? Huh. It has been a long time since I last wrote to you. Very good. Since I last wrote to you. Okay. Yes. You want to write it down first? Oh, I write it down all. Oh, you want to write? No. No need? Yeah. Okay. I wrote all. Oh, you wrote all? You're done? Yeah. Oh, are we done with this page? No, we we didn't do it the page, but um you said to prepare so Ah oh, <laughs> wow. You're very good. Okay, let's go to number two. Months we had last heard from you. Yes. It has been a long it has been a month. Since we last hear from okay, you. okay, okay. I I want you to take a look again. It has been. Look at this one. Is it a month or months? Month. Yes, it has been. It has been a month. We last hear from you. Okay. No need to use a, because we're talking about plural. So more than one, right? Month. So. We only use a if we're referring to only one. Okay? But okay. since we're talking about months, you say, it has been months since we last heard from you. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, again. Okay, months. Uh-huh. Very good. How about number three? Okay. It has been too long. Since we last saw each other. Okay, it has been too long since we last saw each other. Very good. How about number four? Um, it has been e years since we last talked to each other. Yes, very good. Now let's proceed to the next one. We have I hope. Okay? Um, yes. I it hope. 
Let's read the example first. Yes. I hope you like your job. Okay. I hope you like your job. Let's go to number one. Yes. I hope you like your new school. Very good. Number two. I hope you like your father. Very good. Number three. I hope you're doing well in school. Mm -hmm. Um. How about number four? I hope you're enjoying your vacation. Yes. Okay. Well done. Great job. So that was I hope. Now we are going to tell the reason why you are writing a letter. So you can start with I am writing two. So let's read the example first. Yes. I am writing to thank you for being a wonderful teacher. Okay, very good. How about number one? Um, I am writing to thank you for being an amazing coach. Very good. Number two. I am writing to thank you for being an excellent tutor. Very good. Excellent. 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 Uh -huh. Number three. I am writing to thank you for giving me helpful advice. Advice. Very good. Number four. I am writing to thank you for showing me around the city. Okay. For? For, for Show. showing. Yes. Me. Showing me around the city. Well done, yes. Joseph. Okay. Do you have any question? No. No question. Okay, we'll proceed to the next one. I really appreciate you plus the ing form of the verb. Okay, so thank the other person. Um, sample sentence, let's read. Yes, I really appreciate it. You taught me English. I really appreciate it. You taught me English. Okay, next. I really appreciate it. You Help me with my home. Uh huh. Uh, number three. I really appreciate it. You care care so much about us. Okay. Number. Oh, sorry. Three. Oh, number four. Okay. I really appreciate it. You taking me many valuable things. Okay. Sorry, you worked. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, what? Number uh. four. Number four. I okay. really appreciated you. I really appreciated you for work for working so hard as our teacher. Very good. Okay. Good job. Thank you very much. So now we'll proceed to brainstorming. Let's take a look at the letter um, made or a thank you letter to Miss Dalloway. So yeah. when you, br yes. So, okay. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. That's great. So when you or when you start or when you brainstorm on how to write a thank you letter, you can use this format. You can start with who are you going to send your letter to. So, for example, you're going to send a thank you letter to Miss Dalloway. So, you start by saying, Dear Miss Dalloway. Okay? Yes. And then, for after that, there is three parts. You're going to ask about her, talk about me, or talk about you, and thank you. So for asking about her, you can say, um, it, how long has it been since you last saw each other, uh, moved to LA, hope you like your new job, a new home, just anything, just asking about that person. And then you will talk about time. So you'll talk about experiences, your memories together, and then and you're going to send in your thank you. Why you would like to give thanks to that person. And then your last words is, I'm hoping that you hear from them. 
or hoping that he um they're in the good something or whatever you want to put in your last words okay so we have a space here because we are going to brainstorm for a thank you letter so who are you going to send your thank you letter to um you're my old friend your friend yes okay how do you say that dear um dear my old friend Dear my old friend. Oh. No name? You don't have to you don't want to put name? Um I I can't remember it then. <laughs> you can't remember the name, okay? It's okay. So we are but, going to but, but I know he is living somewhere I mean and near my house. Ah, okay, that's nice. That's but nice. Well to my house. Okay, I see, I see. So we are going to start by asking about him. So how you how are you going to, to do that? Um what are you going to about him? Um to what he is studying in there and, and uh -huh. how what is he studying now? Yes. Oh. Okay, aren't you gonna start by saying how are you? <laughs> yes, and, and... And it's been asking, a while. And asking about his new new friend. Oh, asking about his asking about his new friends? Yes. And what else? Talking about me. Oh, for talking about you, what are you going to say? Um I'm doing well with my study. I am doing well with my studies. How yes. about like a memory? You have memories together? Um I um I had interested interest in animals and mm, I am interested in animals and and going to research. And and going to research. Sorry? Research. What is that? Wait. Okay. Okay. Can you type it out, please? Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. I see. Interested in animals and... Okay. Interested in animals and in research. No, going to research. Going to research? Yes. About animals? Yes. Ah, okay. I am interested in animals and... Maybe you can say researching about them. Is that okay? okay? Is that okay? And next we have thank you. What are you going to thank him for? Um, for being my friend and helping me when I'm tired. Mm -hmm. For being my friend, helping me when I am tired. Yes. Oh, like homeworks. Homework, no. sorry. Um, yes, like, like and oh. playing with me. Oh, okay. Playing with me. Okay, wow, that's wonderful. And how about your last words? What are you going to say to that person? Hope, hope to see you soon. Hope to see you soon. Okay, that's all? Yeah. Okay, wow. So you have a very wonderful um format now. You're you're brainstorming a letter, a thank you letter to your um old friend. Okay, now we are going to put them together here. So we're going to start with heading. So maybe we can say thank you, letter, and then greetings. So here you are start with dear. Old, my old friend. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
here uh dear uh my old friend okay. so you're going to ask about the person maybe you can start by saying how have you been or how are you you're right you can start with how are you uh-huh uh what do you want uh what are you studying now right yes yes okay and a lot of other things. I will just copy this one, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, yes. We finished the book. Sorry? We finished our book. Oh, we're done with our book? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. It's okay. So next, uh, or next, I'm going to ask um, the... Uh, I'm going to ask Miss Sue so she can help you with your book. Okay? Okay. Okay. Before this time, you're going, and then this one, you're going to talk about yourself. So what are you doing now? Um, how are you? And like you said earlier, and then you say, thank you for being a good friend, blah, blah, blah. And then your last words are, um, hope to see you again. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I guess this is already very wonderful. Um, yeah, well done. So um, more words and expressions. So for closing, like at the end, sometimes you can say yours truly or sincerely. And then we have other words as well. Can you please read? Um, sincerely. Mm -hmm. um, sincerely yours. Respectfully yours. Regards, best regard, kindest regard. Yes. Also, we have polite sentences. I look forward to hearing from you. I am sorry for my late reply. Okay, and? I apologize for not writing to you soon. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, those are polite sentences and closing remarks. Okay. Also, we have here editing marks. Um, when you want to edit sentences or things, we have symbols that you can use. For example, like this, you insert a letter, a word, or a phrase, or this, you insert a space, and all that. Okay. So, yeah, we're finished with our book. Do you have any question? Um, yes. What is your question? Um, did you have, did you have writing a thank you letter? Oh, if I have written a thank you letter? Yes, I, I think so. I believe so. Um, I think I have written for, for my parents before. And for mm -hmm. my friends as well. Have you ever written a thank you letter before? Have you ever write? Have you ever wrote about it? A letter? Me? Yes. Yes. How about you? Um, I was writing for school. Not, school? Yes. But it is not thinking to school. The school, um, school speak, speak to our class to wrote a thank you letter to any people. Oh, okay. And who did you, uh, to whom did you give your thank you letter? Um, I, I normally write it to my parents. But in nowadays, I write different, like, like the people that my role model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've written for like a friend in school, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. That is that is so nice. That is so great. Um, 
Yeah, wonderful. Anyway, we'll proceed. Since we don't have a book now or yet, we don't have the next book for now. Let's go back to your master or wonderful world book. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So I think we're down to page. Okay, this one I think, right? Song. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we we don't have the the sound, so I will just ask you to, um, read. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. You can start whenever you're ready. Yes. What will you be doing? What will you have done? How will things be different? Where will you have gone? Get effective and prepare. What you do is up to you. So set your career and try something new. You might want to study biology, mathematics, or law. You may go on a voyage and write. Voyage? Voyage? and write about what you saw. You're ambitious and you set your goals high. You will inspire to read. You'll be inspired. You will be in inspired to read for the sky. Decide what you your purpose is or get your degree. And you will still read something extraordinary. What will you be doing? What will you have thought? How will things be different? Where will you have gone? Get creative and prepare. What mm -hmm. you do is up to you. Mm -hmm. So set your goals and try something new. You mm -hmm. may want to help others, perhaps as a mathematician. A mathematician, you need to be clever. Have experience and ambitious. If you're hardworking and have got the right qualifications, you can help people around you reach their destinations. You can make a decision, inspire everyone you know. Take my advice, be proud and don't give up on owner. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. So what do you think is the song about? A um, song about a, a friend that is that is writing for uh hard work, hard work, hard studying friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so like if, if you to, have goals, right? Yes, to to is writing a, a song mm -hmm. to a friend that first studying to become a mathematician. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mathematician, you mean? Yes, mathematician. Uh -huh. Do you want to be a math math mathematician? What is a mathematician? Um, it's basically someone who is... Or it works mostly um, go around or studying mathematics. Could be a teacher, could be an expert, or just someone who studies math, like deeply studies math, focuses mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Okay. Very well. So now we are going to with this. There's a little bit of um questions in here. So let's start with number one. Can you read the question and tell me your answer? Yes. 
What is the song about? Uh -huh. uh, setting future goals. Setting future goals. Very good. How about number two? What you do is up to other people. False. False. What you do is up to other people. False. Yeah, that's true. So what you do should be up to you, right? Number three. Yes. You should set your goals and try something new. True. Yes. Very good. Are you like this? Do you set your goals and you always try something new? Yes. My, yes, my goals is going to the college. Mm -hmm. Called Korea Day. Yeah, your goals is up like to go to college. What do you wanna get when you go to college? What degree? Are you aiming for? What's your goal? Um, to become to become a work a worker as as a SK telephone or Google. Mm, okay, that's interesting. Is it common there? No, no. not common. Not common. I see. I see. Yes, it can be three percent to to become in that college in Korea. Oh, only that little. Yes. Wow. I see. I see. Okay. Let's have question number four. Yes. If you want to help others as a mathematician, you need to be clever. True. True. Very good. Okay, next. Decide what your blank is and you will surely be something. Um, decide what? Your way. Yes, I'm finished. Decide okay. what your purpose is, and you will surely. Be something extraordinary. You can help people around you reach their des destination. Yes, very good. Reach their destinations. Good job. Soon, one of these days, or eventually, you will be able to get your college degree and be able to wear um, like this on your graduation, right? Are you excited? Yes. Yes, but that will still take a lot of time and a lot of studying. So you have to re really focus on it. Okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So now we have the words slack line, world record, gap, balance. We are going to find the definition of these words. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can start with number one, please. Um, take the quality, qualities you think remarkable people should test. Okay, what is number one? Um, patience. Sorry? Check the qualities you think remarkable people should test. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're here, number one. Oh, I thought you were here. Okay, sorry. So... Yes. Teacher, um, what is yes? What is? What is self confidence? Self confidence. One more time. Self confidence. Yes, it mean it means that you have or you believe in yourself and the things that you can do. So you yes, are confident. You are sure that you can do things because you know yourself. Yes. You and know you is, can do. 
Yes. And what is passion? Passion. Yes. Passion. Okay. It means passion. you are you have this power powerful feeling or or attraction towards something. For example, you really want to be a musician. So let's say you want to be like a you're good at violin. So it's it's your passion. So you you study it. You take time. You have a strong feelings towards it. Passion. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm saying. Okay. Amb ambition, self confidence, patience, passion. Passion. Very good. So these are qualities that you think remarkable people should have. Okay, if you are lazy, yeah. can you be a remarkable person? Um, yes. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're lazy, you can be a remarkable mm. person? No. No? Yes, no. Yes, very good. Now let's proceed to number two. Write the correct words. Again, slack line, world record gap balance. So do you have any question first? Yes. Mm -hmm. To make your body steady by keeping weight equal on all sides. Balance. Balance. Very good. How about number two? Uh, select one. Number two, slack line. Yes, a length of cable, rope, or webbing that tends to load loosely. Mm -hmm. Very good. How about number three? Yes. Yeah. A space between two, pe uh, two people or things. Okay, what is that? Gap. Yeah. Gap. Yeah, very good. And number four, world record. World the record. Yes. The best achievement of its kind in the world. Yes. Okay. The best achievement of its kind in the world. Very good. Now, we're going to proceed to this one. Oh, what do you see in the picture, Joseph? Um, a people is riding a person. A we person. use people if there are many, okay, more than one. But if only one, we say person. Um, he is walking through the cable. Yes, a person is walking through the cable. Do you think this is safe? <laughs> No, not safe. Uh-huh. But what, how, why do you think he can, like, simply do it or do this? Because he's very skilled in that. Yes, he's very skilled in that. And it requires passion, right? You have to mm -hmm. have a strong feelings about it. So you, you have to, like, practice every day and be able to do this stunt. Okay. Now, um, let's proceed to body and mind. Any question so far? No. Okay. Can you describe mm. to me what's happening in the picture, in the photo? The man is running with a, with a prosthetic, oh no, mm. it was a, um, fake foot. Mm -hmm. Fake, like fake feet. Okay. 
Yes. So let's try to read this one. Okay. This is Hunter Woodhull, a high school printer from Syracuse. Syracuse. Oh, Syracuse, Utah. He's using his prosthetic legs at the armory track in New York on March 9, 2017. Mm -hmm. People with disabilities have been competing in sports competitions. For over 100 years, the first Paralympic Games were held in Rome, Italy, in 1930. Nowadays, the 1960, Paralympic sorry, Joseph, 1960. 19, yes, 1960. Nowadays, the Paralympic Games are the world's second biggest sporting event after the Olympics. Okay, very good. Biggest sporting event after the Olympics. Well done. Do you watch the Olympics? Um, it has been long that I last since I was, I think, a sports. I had I had watching a soccer and two years ago. Oh, okay. Like the actual game? You went to the arena to watch the actual game? No, in TV. Oh, in TV. Okay. So did you like it? <laughs> yes, the World Cup. Oh, okay. Who won? Um, Korea won. Um, with 16, but we lose to Brazil. Oh, okay. I see. Very well. That's nice that you, you watch um, Olympics. It's very good as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since our time is up, I'd like to thank you very much, Joseph, for doing a job well done. Um, and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you, Joseph. Bye-bye.